Hi, everyone, and welcome to our CDR Purchase Prize webinar. We are just going to give folks a few more minutes to, to join here, and then we will jump right in. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and, and get started here. And welcome to our, our webinar. I'm very excited to share with you our release of the Carbon Removal Purchasing Prize pilot. This is an effort that our, our team here at, at DOE has been working on for a while. Very excited about the, the prize structure that, that we've developed very grateful to so many of you for all the feedback as we've been developing it here. And what I would like to do today is share the details of what we have just released and our plan for the, the execution of this prize over the, the coming months and years. So just to provide context here, the bipartisan infrastructure law authorizes and funds uh, two direct air capture prizes. The pre-commercial prize was released earlier this year. And the commercial prize is uh, being released here uh, in two parts. The first part is this commercial CDR purchase prize. And that's what this webinar is going to be about. I do want to acknowledge that the the subsequent component of this direct air capture prize funded under the infrastructure law will be released soon, um, but we're, we're only going to be discussing the, the first piece of this, which is the commercial prize here today. The goal of this CDR purchasing prize is a, a first ever effort to establish what government purchasing of CDR can, can look like in order to advance the, a wide range of, of CDR technologies. We recognize that there has been a significant amount of support from the government to advance certain CDR technologies, including the 45Q tax credits in the Inflation Reduction Act, and other provisions of the, the bipartisan infrastructure law, like the, the DAC hubs, as well as the base appropriations funding that has expanded the, the CDR program here at, at DOE. What we also recognize is that in order for CDR to scale, there needs to be a strong demand signal for the full range of technology. We see this today emerging in the voluntary corporate space where billions of dollars have been committed in advanced market commitments for, for CDR. And we started to see uh, hundreds of thousands of tons of CDR actually go into contracts for voluntary purchases. We think it's this combination of federal support for grants and tax credits, in addition to demand signals that are going to make the, the carbon removal industry of the future possible at the scale that we need to matter for climate. We are very excited that, that this program was included in the bipartisan infrastructure law and that in the Appropriations Act at the end of the last fiscal year, Congress gave us explicit direction to launch a pilot purchasing program for carbon dioxide removal. We are also eager to support this pilot, knowing that there has been bipartisan support in Congress from both the House and the Senate to 
establish and then advance a carbon removal purchasing program via several pieces of, of legislation. And we hope that this pilot program can help pave the way for whatever programs Congress will authorize in the future. In terms of structure for the purchasing price, what I want to highlight is that there's a explicit acknowledgement that carbon removal can be many different types of, of pathways and that that is where the market is going today. That when we see voluntary carbon purchases, very few are focused on specific technology pathways, but instead on the outcome of carbon removal with high integrity. For that reason, we have released a prize that has four explicit areas of interest for different pathways to scale carbon removal. These pathways reflect uh, the carbon removal options that are laid out in the, the Energy Act that, that Congress has, has passed. And so it's really following the congressional direction to have this broad suite of, of technology. We think it's important for the market in the long term that we don't have a single vertical and that, that there is competition within each vertical so that many different solution pathways can get the support that they need to de-risk and then in the future get to the scale that they need at the cost that will be most affordable. We've also structured this prize in several different phases. The first phase of the prize is a, a really a concept phase where what we're hoping to do is hear from the CDR suppliers themselves about what the best possible way they can structure a credit to the, the US government in the long run. What we want to understand is how industry plans to build out CDR projects today and what systems they are using to demonstrate that the carbon removal that they are claiming is actually delivered and meets the additionality and permanence thresholds that um, they articulate. We are aiming to issue up to 25 awards in the first phase of this program in the hope of really showing that there is a breadth of options in the field today that have the potential to deliver credits in the near future. We then are planning on two subsequent phases, which will really translate into the actual activity of delivering carbon removal to the U.S. government as a service. The 25 winners will be down selected to up to 10 winners across these tracks. And those, those winners will then effectively compete against themselves to deliver the carbon removal that they have pledged, winning up to $3 million if they are able to deliver the carbon removal to those specifications in phase three. What I would like to note is that this prize is announced only for phase one at this point. We have released a draft of the prize rules for phases two and three and are explicitly asking for comment on those draft prize rules. And so we hope that we not only hear a wide range of submissions in phase one, but that the community is able to share with us what types of feedback they have for how we've structured phases two and three to make sure that this prize is as impactful as possible. With that, what I would like to do is uh, again, thank everyone for providing all the feedback to date ask folks for the both submissions for everyone in your network who is developing a CDR proposal and also to provide feedback on our comments. 
you can see here the, the inboxes for which to send feedback, as well as the, the draft rules document here. So I'll leave this slide up here and we'll turn it over to, to questions. I ask that folks please put any questions that they have in the, the Q&A box and we can, can go from there. Um, and I see the, the first question is effectively, how can the, the phase one prize winnings be spent? It's a great question. And uh, a prize is fundamentally structured to award work that has been delivered. So the prize winnings can be spent in, in any fashion that the, the winner sees fit. They, that the prize itself is for the work that has, has really already been completed. And it's, it's the same for, for phase two and three. Great. Well, I'm not seeing any more questions. If folks have anything, please feel free to reach out to us. But in conclusion, I just want to say thank you again. We're really eager to see the submissions that we get, both for the first phase as well as the comments on the second phase. And we hope to continue to work with everyone to make sure that this program can really pioneer what the the future of CDR purchasing can look like and continue to crowd in as many voluntary purchases as possible as Congress develops their longer term legislation for how the government can turn this pilot program into a, a more sustained program. Um, I'm actually seeing a few more questions that I'll hope to, to answer here really quickly. The first one is uh, on if the government buys credits, then the credits are retired and can't be resold. This is actually um, uh, an open question into exactly how we are going to account for the credits on the back end. It's something that is is open for for final decision, and we would appreciate any feedback through the, the formal process on advice on how that, that crediting should move forward. And the, the last question is, would, there, would we consider prepaying of carbon removal credits just for project development? And the answer, given that this is a prize, is effectively no. That prizes have to be paid for work completed and the work here being the CDR delivered is that this, this program itself will not prepay for credits. However, I think it's important to recognize that DOE has a significant R&D portfolio that isn't prepaying for credits per se, but is investing billions of dollars into the development of CDR projects. And they effectively can be thought of a mechanism to advanced CDR projects before the delivery of, of the credits are actually um, complete. Great. Well, with that, thanks again to everyone for, for joining here. Please reach out to the, the inboxes here if there's uh, any other questions. And thank you all for, for taking the time. We will we'll sign off here.